Hello and welcome to our latest update for Character Editor with Unreal Engine 4. This is our last update and we are going to introduce here with this update MetaHuman support. As you know from our previous installments, we have different types of collections for our UE4 mannequin base body. This is all working. And with the latest update, we added here on the top left the MetaHuman. The MetaHuman costumes are all bound to the MetaHuman base skeleton. Here, I'm gonna randomize now for the character editor costumes. And we also finished up our military dresses. This is also working all in the meta humans. You can change here as well the gender. This is a generic uh, male tall meta human. And here everything is separated as well accordingly to our data structures. Luckily, the meta humans were pretty close fitting our base logic from the editor itself and as well from our humans. And same applies here for this guy. Here we also wrapped up the military ones. Our costumes are bound to the base skeleton, as mentioned before. The editor does not support any meta-human uh, facial features and recognition because this is something uh, which um, you guys have to plug in by yourself. We are not allowed to submit any data which is created with a meta-human creator. So here with this product you're going to get the different types of costumes which we have already installed. This update is for free for all our previous customers. So everyone who knows the editor knows its functionality and all this in and outs. For example here when I'm going to tint um, the different parts of the head in this case. And we can also change now the different upper dresses. The vests are put in the accessory slot. And I also started with the heavy armor integration. But this is not so far that I want to publish it right now. But it's on its way. Medieval armor and medieval NPC is already published on the store. And these are also supporting the meta humans. Please keep in mind that not everything is here now perfect because meta humans are also still in the beta phase and th things might change in the future. But in general, the dresses are working and fitting the tall normal weight base body. <coughs> All right, that's it from the character editor part. So we support now multiple anatomy types. And I also, whoops, this was a child. I also uh, wrapped up the barbarians and these are also included, but based on the UE4 mannequin. These are also now integrated here in the editor it's itself. If you just a few close thingies in the beginning, but then it's pretty much working. Okay, let's take let's take a look how you can integrate your data into the editor itself. I'm gonna stop this project and I'm gonna open a clean project right now which I prepared for the presentation. Okay, this is just control rig. I'm going to make a new default scene. So at first it is to mention that when you go in the base folder, data tables, DT anatomy profiles. And this is also valid for all our products if you want to integrate these. <coughs> uh, here is now the anatomy field for meta human female tall and meta human male tall. These are then passed over to the UI later. We have here a body and a head mesh, which is um, luckily pretty similar to our base setup, which we had before MetaHuman was arising. So here's the base structure. Then you can easily go to bridge. Let me pull that window over. Here I have some of my MetaHuman presets, um, which I used for testing and for rep reference. Uh, and then it's most important inside the creator that you select um, the anatomy type tall normal weight. Let me see if I can pull that up here. Okay, my session was closed. Just restart this one.
It's gonna take a second always. So in the meantime, I'm gonna swap back and you can, um, so uh, export your meta human, just simply select it and export it to the uh, currently running engine. Okay, and then you're gonna get in your content browser um, the folder with meta humans. Here's meta human, common. And here's most important, um, if you want to work with our editor structure, that you're gonna plug in the body mesh and the head mesh accordingly. Right now we only have one head mesh as a SK mesh slot, but we plan with the Unreal 5 update um, to add here multiples, to add support for multiple head variations here. All right, uh, let's go to skeleton mesh and I'm gonna take a look at the tall normal weight. And here we go. Here is the male, let's add an M as well. Male, medium, M tall normal weight. Let's take this one. Uh, I need the preview mesh. Preview. Take a look at this one. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to put this in for now the male body mesh and um, make sure in the creator because I pulled now a new revision from the oops it's not the bridge let's go to the creator itself here and this is my usual reference let's gonna change this guy and make sure to when you are in proportions that you're gonna use the upper right so it's right now here just in German and I don't know how to change the language so um it's important to put it to tall normal weight. This is a tall normal weight base body. And that's very important. And on my end right now, sometimes they change these things because usually I have him without pants like this. So he is um, fully naked. And right now in the engine, we just have him as a half naked dude, as you can see here, because the trousers are always um, re remove all the uh, polygons from the base body, but this is still working for us and it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna put in here the body mesh and for the head mesh, let's take a look where this guy is. It's Brian. Let's put Brian in for example. Okay, this is the male. Let's go to the female one. And I have here, here's the body, body mesh. We're gonna save the anatomy profiles now. So you have now your own meta humans directly in here. As mentioned before, we are not able to publish this data. This you gotta have to do on your end. So let's take the showcase map for example, and let's straight jump into it. Okay, so this is now you are on our usual UE4 mannequin. And if you swap now to meta humans, you get the lady. And the guy as well. They're right now in typos. So to say, this has two different reasons here because our meshes are bound to meta human base skeletons and the one you imported. So you have here in the character editor itself, you have here skeleton, and here is the meta human base skeleton. You can delete this one and reference the one which you're gonna get from the meta humans, or visa versa, you're gonna delete this one and you reference to ours. This is all up to you, how you want to uh, move on with this and also how your project demands it. Okay, let's gonna now remove this one, for example, and I gonna go to the meta human base skeleton. Here are multiples right now because I imported the Brian and the Lexi, for example. So let's take a look. Uh, where's our character editor? Here we go and take this one, replace references. And now he is referring all the meshes which were bound to this skeleton to the other skeleton. 
Okay, we're gonna save this one. This is just um, all the data which comes with the meta humans, the animations and the retargeting poses and stuff like this. Okay, so to say now, these meta humans, the SK meshes, skeleton mesh, and for example, if we go to the female base body now, if we go into skeleton tab, you're gonna get the skeleton which is referenced in our character editor. But you can do it also the other way around. And if you now jump in, you're gonna swap the gender. As you can see, our base default uh, um, anim blueprint is now applied. And as shown as before, um, usually the full body is shown up, but here now we have, uh, because the creator changed the parts and um, just a few skin parts are sticked out. So make sure to put in the anatomy profiles a fully naked version of it. And then you can also swap these things around. Okay, and uh, for example, if you now go in here, and this is the default collection. So I go to any collection and you can now swap all these apparels here. Yeah, and this is all working. As you can see here, partially you have here some few skin intersections um, sometimes. This happens mostly uh, because um, some morph targets are not applied. So this is also then up to you if you gonna um, work with the morph target structure or not. Or you gotta have to swap these meshes around as uh, the creator does it for you usually. So when you have a long sleeve, you just get the hands and the feet. So you can make variations of your meta humans and plug it in. Or you are gonna work with our uh, height base body mask structure, which which is also part of the uh, character editor itself. If you go in, for example, to the um, base materials and let's go to our base material. I oh, know it's in the skin. In the skin part, here are our masks. So these masks are going here into the opacity mask and then you will gotta have to um, go back to the uh, meta human body, go into the material, gonna go to the parent, one more parent, and here we go. And you can put this here into opacity mask. You are gonna have to change from opaque to mask and then uh, plug the data in. And then everything which is stored in the data assets itself. Um, let me pull, oops, was the wrong project. Let's go back to the content browser. And if you're gonna go to the character parts, data assets, meta human. And for example, if you go into the upper body, for example, I'm gonna choose chest long sleeve. Ah, you need to put it down here. Here's a base body mask. I was not seeing this right now. And then you have here like, uh, I just made a few presets for masks. If you want to hide these skin parts, yeah, this is all based on the meta human UV set. And then you can hide parts and uh, that these are not getting rendered to avoid some uh, intersections in the first pass. So as well to mention here, keep in mind, this is just a, a beta feature and it's not um, completely 100% ready with all these um, problems which might occur with MetaHuman. Also, when they update the system where we also need to update our data accordingly. So keep that in mind, please. But this is a good starting point to move forward with these. All right, yeah, and here you can put these all together as uh, shown before. Um, this is all working here. And I had as well a few customers asking how to integrate the data. And I was already making a tutorial, I think a year ago, how it works. And here the structure is um, the same. It doesn't matter if you do it with like our UE4 mannequin or if you do it with a meta human base skeleton because this stays. I imported here the medieval armor and Western NPCs. 
Um, both of these are already uh, live on the marketplace with MetaHuman support. And here goes the same way. So if you're gonna go to um, skeleton, you're gonna get here the MetaHuman based skeleton as well. So, um, so to say, these characters, um, let me pull that just in here. Voila. Needs to just compile quickly some shaders. Okay, so this guy is based on the MetaHuman skeleton, but he is using internally in the engine now his own uh, skeleton. So we al also need to reference this back again to the um, other MetaHuman based skeleton. So I, you can delete these simply here. Then he says, hey, all these SK meshes are connected to the skeleton, what to do? And then we go back to Meta. Human base skeleton, I gonna use the one from the character editor. Replace. Here we go. Gonna save this one. Voila. And everything is now on the same skeleton. But we don't have for these Western guys now a valid, a valid data set. Let's easily go into the character parts, data assets, meta human. And to showcase this one, I'm gonna just copy one over. Let's lose a mail, for example. I just let's make a folder data assets. There you go. And you go to upper body and you're gonna put this one into the data assets. And I'm gonna copy it here. Voila. Chess business is now loaded. Okay. And here we want to put it, the anatomy is, all, and because we copied it over, it's already on the meta human mail. And collection are now all the collections which are coming with the initial um, part of the character editor. So you can add here a new Western one if um, you want to. Okay, let's go to the character parts. Meshes meta human important. Some people were using these UE4 mannequin meshes. It's important to go in the meshes meta human folder. Same applies here for medieval armor. Here you also have the meta humans tall. <coughs> okay, let's take the chest piece for example, and I'm gonna use this one now. We just plug it in here. Gonna remove the material variants for now. And this is like the um, the Western shirt, which is now part. I mean, the data assets just called chess business from our initial copy over. Okay, I'm gonna save this one, and which is now a Western dress in the data assets. If I'm gonna start this now, go to the meta human to the mail, and let's take a look. Go to upper. Let's see if we can find it. Here we go. This is um, the SK mesh bound to the, to the meta human base skeleton, which we just plugged in here in the data asset. And visa versa. So this is the complete structure which you gotta have to do on these things. Make all these data assets, plug these in create all the material variants in case you want to have different uh, variants on um, all these uh, types. Yeah, this is totally up um, to you, however you want to move on with the data. Okay, yeah, and this is working. I could do it as well with the medieval armor, but I think for uh, the sake of the length of this introduction, it's the base and which applies to all these, these different apparel slots. Okay, so let's take another look at the uh, control rig. Let's make a new level and I'm gonna save it. And let's take a look at the meta humans control rig. Here's the control rig, voila, here we go. This is all working. <coughs> The content blueprint not in Western. We want to go to this one. So this is BP Brian. Let's call him Brian Western dress. Okay. 
Okay, gonna open this default blueprint, which comes with the meta human. And you have also here these different slots for feet, legs, torso. Okay, let's try to plug in our data here. So we replaced our skeleton with a meta human one. And now we should be able to put these things in. Let's go into the chest slot. And I'm gonna give him this SK item. We're gonna give the legs one of these pants here. Let's go with this one. Voila. Feet. Don't need right now. And then we are good to go. I mean, I could now just plug in a head, for example, if we want to have a head for this guy. Okay, let's compile this one. Let's see if the Western guy is working. Here we go. go. And, and this, this is, is now on the default. default um, ah, okay. You need to uh, clear these here when you plug it in, that these uh, submissions get uh, get updated. Clear. Now there it is. All right. And you have the Western dress on your meta human. For sure, you gotta have to deactivate the groom. This is something we don't support right now. Uh, we will see how the groom component develops further within the engine, but I see here a lot of custom work needed on your end. However, you like to move on with this. You could, for example, create a separate morph target to pull the head out. You can just uh, spawn half of the groom. It depends all so where your cutting line is on different head types because we have beanies, we have base caps, we have the cylindrical head. Uh, there's a lot of different types which can uh, come here. Yeah. Okay, and this is now the um, um, blueprint example, as you can see, with the basic meta human structure as well. Okay, if you're gonna plug this one here now in the scene, he is getting spawned here. Let's go to the body, meta human control rig. First pull him a little bit up the drip. Okay, and if you're gonna now, for example, want to work with a control rig, Everything is working as well with the whole um, meta human setup, which they're gonna give you. Okay, yeah, um, that's it from my side. Um, I hope this little introduction um, was good for you to understand a little bit of the basics and how to work with these meta humans. And as mentioned here, you're gonna have to plug in here your own meta human data, which is something we cannot uh, give you right now, but. Um, this is a mixture as well with some citizen dresses here. So these are not all uh, part of the editor. Um, for example, the fire and the police guy are parts of the citizen dress. And the militaries are for sure parts of the military dress, which is not part of the editor. Okay, but as you can see, you can mix it as well with some uh, meta human base clothes here. This is would be also working, but I cannot assure you that, for example, you use the meta human hoodie and our vest that these are fitting 100%. So I can just say that um, between my clothings that these are gonna uh, work here together with all these different um, variations and uh, material masks and what we have here for you. Okay. Yeah, so to say, that's it from my side. This update is for free um, for all our customers. We also want to thank you for your continued support and for all your love here in this moment. Many thanks and I'm gonna wish you a great holiday, Steven. Adios, ciao.